have his name on my, I mean, on his face, in my head. Who is the vice president? Is that like a trick question? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Don't know. John. Joe Biden. Yes. I don't know. You're not the only one. A lot of people don't know. Oh, folks. Really? You don't know who the vice president of the United States is? You don't know who won the Civil War? This is this, this is college. How much, how much preparation is being done in our public schools to get these kids ready for, for what they're to face? If you don't have an, uh, an understanding of current events or of history, you're doomed to repeat mistakes of history, right? Hey, guys, do we have June? she ready to go? Uh, yeah, no, okay, excellent. June Campbell standing by. June is the founder of Campbell Christian Academy. She has been an educator for four decades. Her students pre- K through 6th grade learn at an accelerated pace and are often 2 to 3 grade levels ahead. Uh, the name of the website is CampbellChristianAcademy.com right here in the uh, in DFW. June, great to talk with you once again here on the Stinchfield Report. I'm Chris Salcedo. Glad you made it. Well, thank you so much for having me. Okay. Um, <laughs> you just heard uh, the Texas Tech kids uh, being asked what Many would consider to be no-brainer questions. Uh, who won the Civil War, and who is our vice president? And only one out of the, the several answers you heard were correct out of each category. Uh, give me a reaction first. Well, when I first saw that video, I laughed, and then I almost wanted to cry. <laughs> but it hit me. And that it's the same thing that's been going on forever. And that is, you know, where do we get knowledge? We get knowledge from reading. And kids are not being taught to read correctly from an early age. And that's when they develop a love for learning and a desire to read. And so now, as we see in uh, this video and here in it, that, you know, in their poor readers in high school and even in college, and it takes them forever to read anything by the time they get finished reading it they don't remember what they've read and consequently they don't want to read so they don't read and where there's no reading there's no learning right well and, and then how, how can you how and, and what about the current events you don't know who the vice president of the united states is uh, what is the excuse for that oh there's no excuse for that except for that you can pretty much uh, be sure that the public schools are not doing much in the way of teaching uh, it's going to be pretty doubtful that you'll see any of these kids or any others for that matter go into the library to get a book on history or geography or civics or anything like that yet they know who uh, Brad Pitt is they know how many wives he's had and who they are and all of that stuff they can find on the internet but they don't know the basics yeah I had a I had a conversation on Facebook and we talked we touched on this in the first hour of an individual who asked the question, uh, granted he was of the liberal persuasion, but asked the question, what is wrong? Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a lovely doorbell you have. <laughs> but the, the, question, the question was, what is the matter with uh, the, the smart people ruling over us? Uh, and, and he asked it with, with earnest and with, with sincerity, to which I, I looked at I, I, I looked at him figuratively. I was typing. I said, "You've got to be kidding me! That is the most un-American notion I have ever heard." We fought a revolutionary war so that we didn't have to be run by somebody who was ordained on high as king or as dictator. Uh, but the the amount of knowledge or lack thereof coming out of the public education system is that this is this is perfectly okay. That 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 run that being run by a select elite group is superior to a government of by and for the people, and it, it and it's it's a complete lack of understanding of American civics. Absolutely, absolutely. They don't understand American civics, but if, or any of these other things you mentioned. However, if the truth were really to be known. If you ask the same students the basics of any other subject, they wouldn't know the answer to those questions either. I think you would get the same response. I think you'd get the same shoulders shrugged and the same giggles and the same response. Oh, is this a trick question? If you ask them the basics of science or the basics of uh, math. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, June Campbell is my guest right now. She's the founder of Campbell Christian Academy. Let me ask you about what it is that you guys do. And you, you've had great results. There's um, you know, the line, line around the block to get into your facilities. How, how is it that you guys are able to, to, to basically buck the trend? And, and so far, and if you'll pardon the, the colorful way I'm going to phrase this, kick the collective behinds of public education as far as academics is concerned. Well, we've gone back to the very basics. That's what we founded our school, Campbell Christian Academy, on. We teach the kids um, how to read by phonics, the old-fashioned way that has always worked. I use my own book called Pure Phonics, which um, I've taught about 10,000 children in my life how to read. And they learn to read at a very early age, and they love learning. They love math because they learn it. Uh, and they know the tools. They have those tools in their toolboxes. They know the basics. They know all their facts. Um, and so consequently, they have this desire to learn more and to read more and to know more about other subjects that these college kids have demonstrated that they don't have. And when I have parents who come in to me and they say, oh, you know, I, I'm not going to send my child to you because you only teach reading and math and writing and grammar. I have to kind of giggle behind the scenes because they're just buffaloed like the rest of America. This is what the children need. They must learn how to learn at an early age. They must learn reading and be great at reading, great at math, great at writing, be able to put their thoughts down in logical sequential order. After all, these students that we're talking about are the ones who are going to be the voters. Yeah, and is, isn't it scary Do they know that, anything? that these kids that were featured in that video are going to be the, the next leaders of this country? God help us all. But June, by the way, June Campbell, my guest, founder of Campbell Christian Academy, you touched on something about interactions with parents I wanted to get into because you, you just basically said that, uh, that parents have said they're not going to uh, send their kids to, to Campbell Christian Academy because you only teach, and then you listed uh, 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 the, the basics, the, the, the litany of, of, of the foundational principles that our kids need to learn. What, what else were they looking for for the kids to learn? Oh, my. I hear it a hundred times a week. Oh, my child needs a well-rounded curriculum. He needs history. He needs science. He needs art. He needs all these other things, anything but the basics. And all these grand and glorious curriculums look very wonderful, but how much can a child learn if he doesn't know how to read? How much science can he learn if he doesn't know math? Mm -hmm. My son-in-law is a Ph.D. chemist. He tells me that the, the students coming into the U.K. system don't know enough math to take basic chemistry, much less read the books. Hmm. So what what you guys do is you make a, a foundational learning principle, pre-K through 6th, and you leave uh, grades 7, 8, and through high school for the science classes, for uh, uh, the arts classes and all that kind of stuff, for that, that type of exploration once you've established a good foundation of solid academic principles. Absolutely. If they have those foundations down and they are great students like that, then whatever they do, the sky's the limit for them. They know how to learn. They know how to think. They know how to put their thoughts down. They can read. They can take notes. And as far as that goes, when you get into high school, uh, that's when you start taking history. History doesn't change. Mm -hmm. You learn the same dates that everybody else, well, we thought we were learning. When you get to high to uh, college, it's the same thing. It starts over again. History starts over again. You learn the right. same thing you learned in high school. So get those basics down uh, from an early age, have all those things in place, all those tools in their toolboxes, and then when they go uh, to the upper grades, they're ready to go into the AP classes, the more uh, – challenging classes and they can start gaining um, credits towards graduation early and things like that and hopefully they get the the best teachers as well so it's a it's a win-win situation and what we're seeing happening in america across the, the whole nation is it's just a disaster and these kids have just proven it
Yeah, and, and, and let me just ask for an experiment here. If I was to walk into your sixth grade class and ask the sixth graders, hey, who is the vice president of the United States, would they be able to tell me? I think they would. <laughs> I hope they would. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all right, June, June Campbell, she is the founder of the Campbell Christian Academy. She's been an educator for four decades. Her pre-K through sixth grade students learn at, well, as you can hear, an accelerated rate and collect, kicking the collective behinds, I might add, of, of the public education system. Uh, CampbellChristianAcademy.com, that's the web address, CampbellChristianAcademy.com. And uh, June, I want to thank you for carving out time for the Stinchfield Report today. Well, it's always a pleasure, and thank you very much. You betcha. All right, talk to you again.